Well, we begin in Bungoma, where at least one person was killed as rival groups clashed on the streets of the town earlier today. Now, the chaos erupted as the county's two main gubernatorial candidates presented their papers to the IEBC. The businesswoman died after being shot by police as they sought to disperse the party's supporters. Robert Wanyonyi with that story. <laughs> This was supposed to be a happy day for the supporters as they escorted their candidates to the IEBC Center for Clearance. And it was. But only for a short while as the party quickly turned into chaos as Jubilee and NASA supporters fought running battles bringing business to a standstill. Businesses in the town quickly closed shop as the rival group squared it out on the streets. Police fired in air to disperse the crowds. But one businesswoman was not so lucky. She later succumbed to bullet wounds. Bada ya viwili kukutana vya timu tofautis. Ziliweza umzozano ulianza mali pale. Nandiposa nikaona watu wakianza kukimbizana. Kufikia pale ikabidi tukafunga maduka. Na kungojea maofisa wa polisi. Leo ni meshangaa sana. Jinsi governor yetu wamekuja. Iwa watu yote ni wetu. Iwe jubili, iwe ODM, wote ni wetu. Udawa watu wote tunawakaribisha hapa. Lakini leo tunashangaa tumekutana na watu wako na marungu tu, marungu tu. Wamepiga magari, wamepasua magari hapa. It was unclear who fired the first shot, but the chaos was immediately followed by a blame game between the two parties battling for the Bungoma vote. Wanasiasa wote wamekuja mali hapa tumewakaribisha kwa amani wote wamepreach amani na, and peace. Lakini nimeshangaa badala ya kuona msafara inaingia kwa amani niona mipini. Watu kama mtu mzee tufanye mkutano ya amani. The Jubilee supporters accused their opposition counterparts of attempting to block Governor Kenneth Lusaka's convoy as it snaked its way past the Bungoma bus park after he had presented his papers and cleared by the IEBC. Wananchi wa Bungoma wameona na wanajua nani ni mtenda kazi na nani mwenye kuzungumuza. Nani anakaa na wao na nani anakuja kama mtalii wakati anataka kura. Sisi tulikuwa tumeongojea tulisaka kuja tumkaribishe kama kwake, alafu aende kwa njia nzuri. Yeye anatanguliza mipini kuja kupiga si watu. But NASA supporters allied to Lusaka's main rival for the Kenya's weekly fungamati insisted that it was the jubilee crowd that started the chaos. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey has started. I can tell you that Tumekua kwa gea mbili, gea tatu. Sa hizi tunataka kuingizia gea ine, gea tanu. So we're gonna walk across the county to make sure that the jubilee chaps go home. IBC itafanya uchaguzi uliomwema, uliobora. Vile umeona kama siku ya leo wamefanya kazi mzuri. Na tunataka kuwa encourage. Wafanya hivo because everybody in Kenya is waiting for a credible uh, election. Na hiyo ndiyo itakisha kwamba uh, inji hii inatulia na inakuwa na usalama. Tunatembea katika Bungoma County. Unajua NASA candidate katika Bungoma County ni weekly for follow Gamati. Oh, Ford Ken. Sasa hao wengine ni punda bwana. Waja tusiende maneno mengine. Many residents accused the IEBC and the police of poor planning, considering that the two front runners presented their papers barely 30 minutes from each other and their supporters were bound to run into one another. A day of violence and running battles in Bungoma town as various candidates presented their papers for the gubernatorial seat. And as one person is confirmed dead from the violence, one is left wondering what are the issues that are going to shape this election. Robert Wanyonyi, KTN News in Bungoma County.